Okay, hello everyone. Guys, this is the day five assignments. We're going to go through them real quick, okay? You can always stop the video. I opened up a copy of the slide showing a separate tab over here. Okay, so we can take a look at it. Let's look at the homework check. And the homework check always, almost always, starts with the essential question of the day. All right, what's the essential question? It's almost always in the third slide. Right there. What does it mean to simplify a radical expression? Okay, we're going to simplify radical expressions today because we're going to solve by square roots starting next week. So we need to practice this up. All right, go ahead and put that in there. Next thing is vocabulary. You know, match them up. Radical sign, radicand, square root, and product property of square roots. Okay, let's take a look at it. <clears throat> Again, this is the chart of the perfect squares, 1 through 30. You need to know those, guys, all right? As the square root symbol is called a radical, it looks like that. It's just a symbol, okay? It means square root. It's known as a radical. And the radicand is the number that's under the radical sign, that's inside the house, we used to say, okay? A square root is the number you multiply by itself to get the radicand. All right, when you find the square root of a number, you're searching for a number that is kind of deep inside that number. When you multiply by itself, you get that number back. So the square root of 36 is 6, because 6 times 6 is 36, okay? The product property of square roots is pretty simple, guys. It just means the square root of a times b is equal to the square root of A times the square root of B. Okay? That's it. Please submit that. Here's the next thing is the homework check. I'm going to put it under the dot cam. We're going to do it. I'm sorry. The next thing is the warm up. All right, guys, the warm up, we're going to multiply and simplify. So 15, the square root of 15 times the square root of 6. This is number 1. Guys, put them together. 15 times 6 is 90. First, put them together under the radical sign, and then look for square roots. Look for factors of 90 that are perfect squares. All right, 9 is a perfect square. It's 3 times 3. All right, so factor 90 into factors that are perfect squares. So I end up with 3 times 10, because the square root of 9 is 3 times the square root of 10. Leave the square root of 10 just like that because you can't simplify it. At right, the next one, square root of 8 times the square root of 6. 8 times 6 is 48. And guys, 48 is 16 times 3, and 16 is a perfect square, so I can take it outside the radical sign, and it's 4. All right, the next one, you're multiplying 2 times 2, so you get 4. And then multiply 20 times 15 under the radical and get 300. I know, I know 300 is 100 times 3. And 100 is a perfect square. All right? The square root of 100 is 10. So take it outside the radical sign and then multiply times the 4 that's already in front. 4 times 10 is 40. Okay? All right. Next one, guys, again, you take the square root of 10 times the square root of 2. So you have the square root of 20 inside, and that's 4 times 5, and 4 is a perfect square. It's 2. All right, the next one, we start with some variables. Again, 15 times 10, put it together. That's 150. And then 3x to the third times x squared is 5x's. All right, this 150 can be factored into 25 and 6, because 25 is a perfect square. The square root is 5. Now, the square root of 4 of x to the 4th is x squared. Again, if you watch the video, guys, any even-numbered exponent, we can take the square root of it. So when you simplify, you should only have one var of each variable underneath here. Because if you have two of them, you can take it outside. All right? The square root of x to the 4th is x squared. So then just leave the square root of x inside with the square root of 6, put them back together, 
and the square root of 25 is 5, okay? Let's look at the next one. Again, guys, 10 times 2 is 20. Three x's, separate it. Take the square roots of what you can, and then put the 5 and the x back together under the radical. I'm going to go faster, guys, because we're running out of time. But at least you'll get to see each one, okay? Again, 3 and 5, put them together is 15. There's nothing I can do with the square root of 15. Let's leave it alone. But I can take two x's out, and they become one x outside. At right, the last one, guys, and 4 times 2 is 8 on the outside. Inside is 3 times 2 is 6, and then two x's. So the x's can come out. The square root of 6 stays inside. Guys, the next thing is the worksheet. I'm going to kind of show it to you. I wrote the perfect squares right down here like this, all the way up to 15, all right, just to keep track. So the 80 has a perfect square, 16, all right? I'm just searching for perfect squares inside, all right? 384 has a square root of 64, so I can take it out. It becomes 8 outside. Leave the square root of 6 inside. All right, again, 200 is 100 times 2. Look for a, something that's along this list that's a factor of a number that's inside the radical. Like here, 25, I can take out. It's right there. It's a perfect square, 5. All right, 27 is 9 times 3. All right, 147 has 49. All right, 28 is 4 times 7, and 4 is a perfect square, guys. It's on our list right here, 4, 2 times 2. So I can take the, the 2 out and then multiply it again times that 2 in front. All right, 112 is 16 times 7. I can take, this, take that out. Take the 16 out because it's a perfect square, 4. All right, 4 times 3 is 12. Leave the 7x inside. And I'll show you these. 72 is 36 times 2. Well, I can take two y's out, but I have to leave one y inside. I take two y's outside, and it becomes one y outside. All right. 384 is 64 times 6. All right. I can take two y's out again. This one, I can take all the a's and the b's out because they're even-numbered exponents. I can take them out, a squared and b squared on the outside. And then 20, again, is 4 times 5. And again, 249 is 49 times 6. Just try these, guys. Try which one of these numbers is a factor if you're not sure. Just try different numbers, all right? The b to the fourth can come out, b squared on the outside, and then the a stays inside, okay? Guys, the last thing is the exit ticket. Look at it quick. Again, the square root of 144, easy, 12. 75 is 25 times 3, so we got 5 times the square root of 3. And 27 is 9 times 3, so 3 times the square root of 3. As 180 is 36 times 5, all right? So the 36 becomes 6 on the outside. All right, 98 is 49 times 2, and 49 is 7 times 7. I can take the 7 outside. Times 3 is 21. Leave the square root of 2 inside. All right, 20 again is 4 times 5, and five, the square root of 4 is 2. Take it out, so now I have negative 14 outside. All right, 200 again is 100 times 2. All right, so take it outside, it becomes 10. Don't forget the negative here. All right? That's negative 7. It carries through. All right, guys, this is number 8. 256 is a perfect square. It's 16. 